welcome. Hi guys, um, welcome. I'm recording this just in case I don't get to record it in the edit or later on when we do our festive season greeting. But anyway, I am reorganizing our home, making it more practical, more functional, and just ensuring that we are not hoarding. So it's the end of the year, we've accumulated a lot of things, and it's about that time when we need to let go and start afresh in a new year. Because of this, um, I'm redoing, not really redoing, but I'm just decorating our bedroom so that it looks nice. Anniversary is in a few days. So that's my anniversary surprise. My husband don't know about it. It's exciting. But yeah, so that part will be done. And I'm also reorganizing the kitchen, which I'm hoping will kind of give you an idea of what I'm going for. But unfortunately, I've ordered some containers and yeah, containers from Tupperware. Um, from Take a Lot, sorry. And Take a Lot, the supplier ran out of stock. But he stalled instead of telling us he ran out of stock earlier. So now I literally have to redo the process today and order new containers, which I'm not sure if they'll arrive before we leave so that I can show you the full pantry makeover. But either way, it is getting organized today as best as I can with what I have. But I'll update you as time goes by and basically just wanted to encourage you to also um, represent your Lord and Savior, the purity and the cleanliness with which he's blessed us in your home. Um, don't hold on and hoard things and accumulate things and allow things to live in corners because that's kind of how sin accumulates or that's kind of how sin progresses. Something is ignored and slowly, slowly it turns into something much bigger when it could have just been dealt with in the beginning. So take care of that dust now before it turns into an anthill sort of thing. So I have a few quotations here that I really love <clears throat> that I wanted to read for you as a homemaker, okay? Um, first, it's um, a quote from Adventist Home Chapter 2. It says, While we are to guard against the needless adornment and display, we are in no case to be careless and indifferent in regard to outward appearance. All of our persons and all of our homes are to be neat and attractive. The youth are to be taught the importance of presenting an appearance above criticism, an appearance that honors God and truth. So, there's also um, a quote about a happy home. It says, God is displeased with disorder, slackness, and a lack of thoroughness in anyone. The deficiencies are serious evils and tend to wean affections from the family. A wife and a mother cannot make home agreeable and happy unless she possesses a love for order, preserves her dignity and has a good government. Therefore, all who fail on this on these points should begin all at once to educate themselves in this direction. Which basically means, okay, let me read it again. God is displeased with disorder, slackness and a lack of thoroughness in everyone. A mother and a wife cannot make a home agreeable and happy unless she possesses a love for order, preserves her dignity, and has a good government. Therefore, all who fail on these points should begin all at once to educate themselves in this direction. And then this is um, basically a quote about homemakers who focus on the house so much that they lose um, mental stimulation, I guess, or mental development and growth as well as spiritual development and growth. She says, let homemakers resolve to live on a wiser plan. Let it be your first aim to make a pleasant home. Be sure to provide the facilities that will lighten labor and promote health. It means that your setup as a ho at home as a homemaker should be one that allows you time to grow. It should be one that allows you um, the leisure of Bible study and devotion and time outside the house. So don't consume yourself in housework, don't consume yourself in organizing, but make sure that it is practical, it is functional, it is neat and presentable. So end of the year, usually things don't stay the same. If you packed your cupboards in Jan, 
hunty by now they're probably like not in the same state so she's referring to that just make sure that you don't make it laborious as a task okay oh here's a quote also about cleanliness it says cleanliness neatness and order are indispensable to the proper management of a household but when the mother makes these all important duties of her life and devotes herself to them to the neglect of physical development and mental and moral training of her children she makes a sad mistake amen so homemakers out there be careful not to be so consumed in the order and the neatness and array of your house that you neglect your own spiritual physical and mental development and growth study online courses sis study via correspondence if you want to ensure that you are attending events that you're going to the gym that you're meeting new people um, it's a very secluded environment if you're just literally in your house with your children 24 7 and the only person you ever get to see is your husband and then on sabbath other people yeah so just ensure that you're developing in all facets of your life don't be so consumed by homemaking so yeah these are the quotes i read and it, there's actually a quote that says um Believers should be taught that even though they may be poor, they need to be, they need not be unclean or untidy in their persons or in their homes. Help must be given in this line to those who seem to have no sense of the meaning and importance of cleanliness. Ne? The Holy God, those who are to be taught, they are to be taught that those who are to represent the high and holy God must keep their souls pure and clean and that this purity must extend to their dress and everything in their home. Okay, so I think that's the end of my quotes. But basically, all I'm saying is that we are holistic beings. And in being holistic, you understand that nothing is in any way superficially or even like truly in its intricacy nothing is categorized separated classed however you may want to put it everything is integrated the state and the condition of my car usually can tell you the state and the condition of my emotional well-being my car stays clean and neat and presentable because that's just the kind of person i am if my car is a mess you better ask me what's wrong because that's just the disposition of my emotional well-being our spaces are a reflection of who we are inside you need to declutter you need to clean you need to purge that might be the time and yeah i just wanted to show you guys how i'm gonna go about it um roll the tablets <laughs>